Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see, I'm doing a video on our new loader tractor. So this has replaced our 7610 as the loader tractor. Uh, now the 7610, we have still got it. Um, I will show you that towards the end of the video. But today I thought I'd do a walk around of this new tractor, show you some of its features and talk you through some things that we've already done with it. So, it is a New Holland T5060, 2009. It is fitted with a New Holland 750TL front loader. It's got the uh, Euro headstock on it. Uh, this tractor's done, I think it's 6,800 hours. Um, now this video was supposed to come out quite a while ago um, but I hadn't got around to doing it. We have owned this tractor for I think it's three months now um, but it has given us an opportunity to, um, to kind of get to know it and get to use it and it's been really good so far. So I'll go around it and give you a few, talk to you about a few key features about it. So, we'll start off at the front. Like I say, this is a New Holland 750TL front loader. Um, it is basically a rebadged stall loader. Um, and what I can say about this is it's brilliant. Compared to our old quickie loader that you may have seen on our 7610, this is just miles ahead. It's so much nicer to use. As you can see, it's a power loader with double rams on the tilt, and it's also got um, a self-leveling function that is all fitted inside of the main arm of the loader, so you've got more visibility over the sides. Um, it also has a soft ride function. There's the lever for it, so um, the loader um, moves with the bounces of the road when you're going down the road to make it a lot smoother. Um, the headstock, um, we did have to make a little modification on this because this pin that goes all the way across, that slides into your brackets to hold your implement on, but sometimes it doesn't quite slide into here. So we just had to stick a washer on there um, just to guide it in, uh, but it works fine now. Uh, another modification we did, which I'll show you on the grab, is that we had to swap the, the uh, quick connect ends, so they were um, the other way round, but that wasn't a big job. Working back along the tractor, uh, it does come with a weight carrier. We are after getting some uh, front weights for it, um, for when it's not being used on the loader. Um, it has a four-cylinder, 105 horsepower engine. Um, it's a, not much of a step up, only about 10 horsepower up from the 5050 uh, and about 10 power down from the 5070. Um, but it's the second largest in the range. Um, working back around the back here, the cab um, is very similar, the actual frame of the cab, to our New Holland TM. Um, that's all pretty much the same. I'll show you the interior in a minute, it is quite different. Now around the back here, um, pretty basic, but all functional. It's got the category 2 ball hook arms. Um, two spools, as you can see, the green and the brown. Uh, it also has a lever here that comes out and works on a ratchet just in there um, to raise and lower your arms when it's running. Um, standard stuff, uh, trailer light plug, brake plug. Um, the only thing that we're thinking of doing is fitting a return, oil return there for when we're running the bale wrapper on it. Um, as you can see there, it's got a two part draw bar and pickle pitch hook. Comes with a toolbox on the back which unfortunately this one it's a bit uh, I think it's cracked down that back 
back corner so we do need a new one of those um, but as this is uh, 13 years old it's expected that some things are going to be uh, in need of uh, replacement uh, some of the things that we've done so far is fitted dual beacons either side now I know on camera that looks really wonky but it's actually because of the angle of the cab they're actually straight up um, so we fitted those got one on either side um, and I'll show you some in some of the stuff we've done in the cab um, when we got it this uh, bar that holds kind of the main structure of the door um, that had been hit at some point um, and the glass had been replaced but the bar hadn't and the bar was um, somewhat twisted and it meant that on the road this catch would actually jump off and the door would swing open so obviously we really wanted to get that fixed um, but luckily the dealer that we bought it off um, because it was an issue that they sold it with they uh, were kind enough to replace that for us um, so that's been replaced and I'll just get up into the cab now and show you stuck a seat cover on because it's just good to keep the seat clean um, as you can see it is quite tidy in here for the age of the tractor other than dust on the floor um, I'll just get up inside here shut the door so it's a bit quieter the door does shut pretty well now there we are uh, another little modification we made because there isn't much storage in here that is a toolbox off the of 4000 series um, that I've bolted to the mug guard um, so that's just a bit of extra storage in the cab there is a little cubby holes like this but there's no way really to keep things secure it could all bounce about in the cab which isn't the best so I thought I'd install that. This is the joystick for the loader. You've got um, left and right movement tilts your loader and up and down is obviously up and down of the loader. Hold that button in there and that works your third service on the side to side. Uh, controls down here, pretty standard. Got your, uh, your gear stick there with your tortoise and hair on it. The um, your range selector there. You've got your levers for your arms, obviously, and the two spool levers, hand throttle, that sort of thing. Um, standard PTO stuff. If you've got a new Holland, I'm sure it's all very familiar to you. Um, got, I think that's the original radio in it. Um, I would quite like to get a Bluetooth one at some point, but whether that will happen. Um, one of the few modifications still to do is hopefully maybe here or down here on the the mug guard I'd like to fit a CB. Um, we've got CB in our other tractors and it just makes it so much easier for when you're both in the field working. Um, just for communicating it's easier than using your phones. Um, so we've got that to do. Uh, it needs a cover on the wiper motor. I think that's already ordered and I think yeah a few of these little black um, upholstery thingy-majigs whatever they're called they need replacing but I think we've got them ordered too um, so that's about it for what needs doing to it uh, and the cab so uh, that's our new tractor hope you like it please let us know down below what you think of it I'm very pleased with it. I'll just uh, start it up for you now. Starts up straight away. Got a nice, uh, nice little growl to it. So yeah. This is our new tractor, and uh, now I think I'll go and show you what's happened with the 7610. Okay, so we're in the other shed now. Um, here is the 7610, and as you can see, something missing off the front. So, this 7610 
had been fitted with a quickie 2200 loader for about 15 years. Um, I barely remember it without a loader. Um, you know, obviously been, what, five or six at the time um, when my dad fitted it because this, at the time, was our main tractor. Um, but it was kind of replaced by the uh, an 8340 and then the TM. Um, so this went on to loader duties and the loader worked well for all those years. Um, very little problems with it. Um, but of course, it was time for an upgrade. Um, this was our secondary tractor anyway. Um, so it would be used um, during haymaking time. I used it last year on the, uh, the single rotor rake. Um, and of course, to load all the bales. Um, and it wasn't the most fun. Um, as it was a lot slower than the TM, the loader's a lot harder to use, um, and there's no aircon, so it got really warm in that cab. <laughs> but yeah, so we took the loader off, um, actually using the new tractor to lift it off. Um, took that off, oops, sorry, get back into focus, not long after we got the new tractor. Um, and we're still keeping the 7610 because we've had it from um, from new. Um, can actually post some pictures of of it when it was brand new, about a week old. And uh, yeah, so kept it as a backup tractor and sort of sentimental um but i would like to try and take it to some farm shows and road runs depending on what all of this rubbish with the diesel ends up to be but uh we'll see about that um but yeah so my plans with this is to keep it original like it is um but i am going to give it a damn good clean because as you can see or you can't see because it's not focusing um it's absolutely covered in oil mainly from the leaky loader that was on it um but i'll degrease it all clean it all off and i'll give it a good polish and really bring bring this blue paintwork back up to how it was um and then i will hopefully keep it in that condition and uh do as i say with it you know get it on the odd jobs and as a backup tractor and just enjoy it really. So uh, yeah, so that's 7610. That's our new tractor as well. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a like if you did. Um, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.